is Empress Jennifer here, just spending time with the birds, the water. Anyway, back to this hate crime that's being projected towards me, which is a very real thing. And I know I've heard people here speaking on how they also were um, gang stop and no doubt you probably were but was it at the extent of my gang stalking were you blocked on every hand did, did you have uh, resources to run to or people to go to to help you because if you did then your situation and my situation are still very much different and I'm sorry that you went through it but I'm out here by myself because it is family that I knew as family and so therefore no your situation and my situation is different and I'm trying to survive the uh, the pressures of them trying to oppress me financially. And in this climate, you know that's a freaking problem. And further, your stability, because without stability, it's kind of hard to get certain things as if they knew that and um, so therefore they're just trying to do all kind of unimaginable things and then on top of that you have these dirty judges lawyers um, not to mention the attorney general you know so if there's nothing mm -mm, this comparison okay but anyway, nevertheless, I'm sorry that you went through what you went through. But all I'm saying is I believe the state of Florida owed me a check for a hate crime trying to stop me from eating, working, uh, obtaining legal, gainful, monetary resources, um, blocking me from having medical insurance or even if I am seen if I need to be seen at the um, hospital for something or or another you're right there trying to look into my medical records as if I authorize your behind to do that whoever you are and then on top of that you're following me everywhere that I go blocking or telling the potential employer to not pay me any attention when I go in there to gain gainful employment. Um, so therefore, somebody need to cut me a check and then the prison cells need to open and my enemies need to go into that hell pit that you're trying to put me in. Okay? So therefore everybody stick to their story and when you have overcome came it I am proud of you and that's inspiring but when I am still in this situation trying to fight it it's still no comparison okay so I want this over with I do feel like something is going on, but is it really going on at the extent where it should be wrapped up by now, where I can move on from it? And, um, you know, I did, like, I did go to Social Security. Because I, I, I do feel like, uh, you know, when you block me on every hand, you owe me some type of compensation, especially if you're letting your um, 
people who make decisions participate in such a thing. So, you know, it, it that is what it is too. Okay. Um, like I said, I just want this situation over. I don't want anyone to have my life on hold, on wait. No. You be on hold in a holding cell called prison. And you be on wait for your sentence to be over with. Okay? Um, so, if everybody can get on board with that, that would be great. Because I don't care who you are. If you break the law, then uh, I do not believe the law. Say, well, since you're in this position, we cannot charge you. Okay? So, anyway, I want the law to be upheld. And I want these people to be charged. Because, as we know, if it was anybody else not sitting in that seat that you all sit in where people hold you up in high, high regard until they find out that you're scum um, you quickly have them in the courtroom have them in jail have them going to court to be sentenced so I want the same thing to be applicable so after this case all them little loopholes y'all got for your little grimy asses need to go away because it don't need to be a loophole holding up somebody else's life so you can continue to try to set them up your grimy behind need to go in that courtroom and it need to be a judge that is going to hand down the law for the crimes that you have committed meaning you need a double portion because you are the law so you knew what the fuck you were doing so therefore you need a harsher sentence and that is part of the law of the land isn't it so i want that to happen to those who are trying to persecute me for crimes that your stupid behind have done so anyway like i said i want to move on from this I do not need no one to be trying to railroad me, um, defraud me of my time, my health, or my wealth. If you already know that people are stealing from me, I want them prosecuted. If there's a copycat trying to be me, then what is the uh, conclusion to that problem? Let's do some DNA, please. Let's uh, get that done right away. Don't have me on wait, stand by. Let us see what this ignorant bitch is doing who is trying to be me. Excuse please, no. Let's handle this with, come bring me my information so I can go ahead and give you that blood work and make that hoe do the same. And if it don't match, like uh, the Honorable uh, Johnny Cochran say, if the glove don't fit, then you must acquit. Then let's get that done. Cause I'm tired of sitting here on weight. Like this water, this water is in this right perspective place. But me being put on hold for somebody else to be sitting up here doing nefarious things? I think not. Work the law and the laws of the land that was already created. If it is applicable to any asshole that has come up against me, then apply it to that ass. Period. Now, anyway... I wish some of you would, mm, anyway, oh, I got to go and enjoy the beauty of the earth, but I just felt the need to get that off my chest, especially um, to uh, John Williams. Did you used to be a police officer, you scumbag? 
furthermore, I don't know why you're not arrested for spreading HIV. Uh, maybe I need to contact the CDC and tell them how I contacted uh, local law enforcement, Cocoa Police Department, Rockledge Police Department about your stinking ass spreading uh, HIV, but you didn't do it to me, but you are spreading it around. And so perhaps maybe the CDC uh, contact your dumb ass so you can go ahead and go to prison and stop trying to fake like you married to me, whoever the scumbag who's faking that they're, I'm, I'm with you and you're stealing my assets. Please. It's so many of you doing such nefarious things. I don't know if it's James Trutlin and his hoe, or Kenny and his hoe, or Sandra and her dumb ass husband. Okay? So, anyway, I'm gonna need for the law to apply those laws that are being broken, you know, from this malicious harassment and stalking and I mind you people I have been to some towns I have traveled so much but really not going anywhere that I really wanted to be at but um, I guess it was just divinely guided because when I went to these little towns it was somebody there that had betrayed me and and is a part of this Ponzi scheme so you know i'm just like sick of it now i'm over it um it's gone it's gone on too long especially since contacting doj since 11 2022 and we're working on year 25 directly uh who haven't who has had patient who has been patient is me but all I want and ask for is fair judgment of the judicial system. You know something is going on. And if it's Ashley Moody, that's wrong. Arrest her ass, period. If it's Benjamin Crump that's doing something wrong, arrest them. If it's the other names that I named earlier, because I'm not sure which judge, unless it's Judge Tola, I don't know. But arrest her too. I don't care what your stature is. I'm sick of you holding up my life, preventing me from living. Too many years have gone on, and too many years before I knew about this, but before that I was actually, you know, able to do things but uh, with this economy and things that I know that I need and you're trying to pro prohibit it from me, mm-mm. Most high, may the tables turn, may you call righteous judgment just as you did in the day of Pharaoh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Babylon, because these Babylonian whores have a rose they ugly head again so anyway beautiful people I'm gonna stay beautiful but I do I, I just have to tell my karmics the truth about their dumb behavior I mean this is uh, really some just I don't know, crazy stuff that's going on. And then every little town I go into, you got the police doing little nefarious things following me. If they ain't following me for the good of protecting me from you, since you're following me in every town, every city that I go into, enough is enough. So if there is a legitimate investigation going on, I wish you would just harass these people every time I move, move, and you see it. Just go ahead and arrest, arrest these people. Please do not put them in a federal prison like, 
you know, I don't know, there's some decent federal prisons where they still be in there playing tennis. I mean, really, that's, that's like just, I'm just going to be away from home for a little bit. I mean, it is taking them out of their comfort zone, but no, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. they need to go to a prison. Bible, you know, the hard time that they inflicted in the murders that they probably have done to others. So now, and I'm talking to you elitists, you don't get to go to no privy, tennis, uh, federal prison. Uh-uh. No. And if you do, may Mother Nature visit you a natural disaster okay because hell to the now going to give other people hard labor I think you need to do some of that with, reap some of that which you sow especially if you have placed people in prison for things that they did not do and they couldn't get proper representation because you paid them like you're paying officers now to stop me Ask me, try to photoshop me, and things of that nature. Please. Anyway, thank you to the good judicial law enforcers that will press charges on these powers that were because you deserve it not because I'm speaking it, it's because of things you said and did to cause you to be in hangman position, okay? And so when I was filling out uh, my little password for my social security thing on my phone, because I know it, my phone is calm, you know, so if you all, John, Kenny, Tasha, Danielle, think that you're doing something with my social security information. I done told your stupid ass. I do believe that there is a legitimate investigation. So if you try to mimic my phone in any type of way or go on that website and do anything, it's on public record now. I'm speaking it and so if you do anything because I don't intend on going back on there outside of today so if you go on there then it's on you okay you little stupids because uh, I believe somebody is also getting Social Security in my name that's why I was blocked as a matter of fact it wouldn't even let me make a um, uh, an account so, Sandra, are you getting Social Security in my name? That's why I couldn't make an account. Did you call somebody at the Social Security office to block my web interaction on creating an account? I don't know, but uh, your old behind need to be picked up by the feds because they know you have done something. And Patricia Branch Bunch, you need to be picked up too. Deidre, she need to be picked up too. So I don't know what y'all think y'all have going on, but if you stole anything from me, you can rest assured that I want you prosecuted. I'm talking about classmates and all, Delatron, Angie. You think you can have plastic surgery and, and, and think you're gonna be walking the face of the earth and ain't nobody gonna know who the fuck you are? Think again. <laughs> Because your face appearance may change, but that DNA don't, stupids. And I, if there is a legal investigation going on, I'm sure you dum-dums have been eating out, blase, blase, blah. Because if it was me, I would be right there while you're eating out and just go scrape that glass and get your little mouth juice 
and run a DNA report to know that it's you. So therefore, you just wasted your damn money trying to uh, have plastic surgery because they still know who the fuck you are. They following you while you think you looking brand new. You just gonna be looking brand new to go to that prison cell. Okay? So don't think you are forgotten because you got a new face. <laughs> thought you thought of everything huh mm. okay and then furthermore you talk too much but I like it we like it keep talking okay keep talking like the birds that fly in the sky open up prison cells and let my enemies enter where they shall die now Hmm. Was that a chant like y'all be doing for me? No, but most of y'all are going to go to prison. And that is where you're going to die. And that's just on period. That's whether you're young or old. Because uh, prison ain't no fun. I do not believe. That's why nobody in their right mind wants to go. But undoubtedly, y'all not in y'all right mind. Because that's where you're headed. <laughs> Anyway, look at the water. You're drowning in your shit. And while I'm just relaxing, and one day I'm going to be flowing with the currents. One day soon, flow in my eloquence that I am. That's why I got so many haters who hate. Because if I wasn't special, you would not want to be in my energy, now would you? It wouldn't be worth your time, now would it? But I'm here to tell you right now, stay out of my energy. You're not welcome. And may my ancestors continue to relentlessly duck you up, okay? So anyway, I'm going to let everybody go. And thank you, ancestors, archangels. Uh, hey, Marine Kingdom. Thank you for your assistance when they go out there under the moon trying to call on you to harm me. <laughs> thank you that you are going to swallow them up. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy my day, but I know my mofos are all in, tuned in, so you got an earful with the truth, okay? Because you ain't going to be putting me in prison. That's your fate. And